Hello, my name is Loredon, and today I'm going to paint just kind of do something a little bit different. Uh, I thought we'd have a quick look at my collection, um, sort of the state it's in, uh, and sort of the plan for the next year, and what I want, wish to achieve over the next year. Uh, there's a few things to go over, so we'll just start, we'll just go through it all. Uh, so first of all, up the top, all that, so we've got the big bang, bang blade. As you can see, unpainted, and you'll see a lot of unpainted stuff throughout. Um, so yeah, we've got a uh, Bane Blade, uh, we've got two Imperial Knights, which I'm really happy with, they come up really nicely. Uh, I do want to grab another Imperial Knight at some point, and I'm looking forward to the the uh, the smaller Knight that's coming out that they've teased. Uh, so on the next shelf we've just got a lot of Imperial Armour, armor, a lot of tanks, um, Basculus, heaps of uh, Sentinels up here, Hellhounds. As well as uh, Rough Riders, the conversion some, that someone did that I uh, brought as a bundle. Uh, then on the next shelf, we've got a lot of metal models. Um, something that I've recently brought is some of these uh, trays, movement trays, which is really cool, keeping everything nice and neat. Um, and I plan to do some things with that, which is really cool. Uh, we've got a lot of K and metal, metal models in back there that I brought as a group, uh, bundle type thing and really cheaply that I need to paint. Uh, working along, we've got standard bearers, priests, snipers, uh, commissars, some bograns, some heavy weapons in the back there, uh, some ogrons, metal ogrons, a heap of them, about 10 of them, um, tech priests and servitors, more commissars, uh, then up here in the front we've got the uh, platoon commanders, uh, all in varying states of done, uh, and then here we've got just infantry squads, and they're in 10 man squads. Uh, not probably under half of it's all uh, painted. That's actually one of the things I'm starting to work on now. Is that it's actually one that goes here uh, that is all done, and I'll probably show that towards the end and what I kind of want to make it all look like. Now uh, on the next shelf, we've got some um, Space Marines. Not a lot. Uh, this is mainly from the uh, the last starting set with the Dark Angels and the Burning of Prosper Prospero set. Oh, that's in the back there. Um, and I've sort of done a little bit of them. Um, I haven't quite decided on a paint scheme. I do like this paint scheme for these guys. I'm really happy with this one, but we'll see how we go. Wouldn't mind playing some Space Marines eventually. Uh, then we've got some Sisters of Silence and some sort of Inquisition, Assassins, and some Silence, just because I was running out of room for the Silence. Um, then my new pride and joy is the Custodian Guard. Um, there is, I think I've got some water to add to these guys and some bikes that I'm halfway through making. Um, but I just love them, they are so fun to play with. They're just massive monsters. Uh, then further down, we've just got some Catachan. I have a heap of Catachan that I just need to strip completely um, and just start. This is just stuff that I had, stuff that I brought really cheaply. Um, and so yeah, I just need to strip the lot. And that's something that I wanted to achieve this year is to strip it. Um, and then maybe sort of next year, it's a while away, but you know, when you're painting, it takes time. Uh, next year, make this sort of a, a, a bit the, the goal is to maybe start painting this kind of a paint scheme. Uh, more heavy weapons, uh, Cadian and Cadian heavy weapons. Uh, then my Stormcast, um, and some Liberators in the back that need to be painted, which is something that will be on my next sort of to do list as well. Uh, then we've got my Blood Bull, uh, Dwarves, Human, and Orcs. We'll get to the Orcs eventually. Uh, some Chaos here that I don't really care about. Arkhamen from Burning of Prospero. Cool. Uh, some more Katachan. <laughs> um, just heaps of Katachan. Just in crazy amounts of Katachan. Uh, Lord of the Rings that I also don't really care about that I just picked up somewhere. Just a box of random bits and pieces here. Uh, this is my Scion. Mill Tempestus. Uh, Lemon Ross in there, some uh, Daka Wagon and <laughs> Taka Wagons, the uh, Turoxes, which is great. Just putting the pressure on, just so much um, Daka they've got. The rest of my Stormcasts, and these guys are just in these boxes just because they, um, they're sort of like my campaign ones at the moment. They're ready to go. Just add to them as I add units to the campaign. Yep. I also have the box part of the collection. 
Um, Shades Fire, that's something that I still actually have to plate it. I think it's all in there, ready to go. Uh, but I haven't painted it. I also have two of the guard and the Iron Skull Boys that I haven't even really looked at. I have a heap of these little boxes. White Dwarf Blood Ball boxes, uh, Primus Chaplain, the Primus 30 year one, more custodian guards that I've got to work on, uh, Death Watch down here that I haven't even touched, uh, then we look in the back here, we've got some Necromunda, opened it, hadn't put anything together, Dark Imperium, opened it, took the uh, rule book out, haven't actually put it together, Blood Ball, which we have seen, Talons the Emperor, I think everything that's made. Overkill, which I mainly got for the Death Guard. Same as the uh, Slut Collecting Box. Opened it, haven't looked at it. Uh, Blight War. All the Chaos stuff still in there. Uh, another Bane Blade, which is something that I just haven't even looked at, haven't even started. I was actually thinking there's something in there. Uh, I'm trying to think what this one was called. Amigod? Amigod? Uh, brought it really cheaply some storm cast in there that I want um, so we'll get around to them but I just, again haven't even opened that's still sealed uh, I did buy a heap of start collecting um, Astro Mill Tempestus because they're really cheap and the best way to sort of get those units so I actually have a, there's like two Turoxes in here that I haven't built that's just a heap of spare bits Dark Vengeance which is all built uh, Regigad that's all built that's where those two um Knights came from, and the Hor Horus Heresy, Burning Prospero. So I just wanted to show this because this is something that I, I want to start to minimize and get rid of a lot of this stuff. Um, I want to make it as small as possible. I have a lot of stuff that's just plastic in boxes, and I want to get rid of it. So that includes coming up with an idea for the Space Marines and sticking to it. Um, yeah, thank you. And this is what I wish to accomplish with um, those movement ba bases, trays. Uh, paint them up, make them match the bases. I think that one's popping out a bit. I think that looks really cool. It's gone for pretty minimalistic, this one, but yeah. I think the ideas there, they all look really cool. Just like that. Very nice way to store everything, keep everything where you need it to be in the squads. Um, yeah, so that's what I want to do to all of, all of those guys, uh, movement trays up there. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please give us a like and subscribe. Um, hopefully next week I'll have my custodian guards, uh, custodian bikes, which are right here, all finished and ready to go, and I can show them off.